So I was watching it again. Which one? The one titled What is a Spell? Okay, and? I have a few doubts. Sure, go ahead. My first question is, what's the difference between a wish and a spell? That's a good question and a basic one. A wish is something that you desire. When you have a wish, a lot of you will uh, associate with the birthday wishes when you blow out the candles, right? So that's a wish. It's in your mind. You're contemplating it. You're imagining it. A desire is a very strong form of wish. A desire is a step ahead of a wish. It's a passionate wish, a really strong wish. Something that after a period of time, you just have to see into reality. You mentioned in the reel that we must create an intention that is clear enough. What does that mean? Clarity is a very, very important part in any kind of spell casting. Even in your day-to-day -day routine, if you don't have clarity, then you're running around like a headless chicken. Think about it and I'll give you a practical example to prove my point. When you want to cover a certain amount of work during the day, if you don't jot down the points in the morning, you will jump haywire from one point to another, leaving things half-baked and half-done, and at the end of the day, you will achieve nothing. It's best that you decide what you want to do and plan your day accordingly, right? Similarly, clarity when it comes to spell casting is extremely important because if you don't know what you need to do to get where you see yourself, then you're never getting there. Not anytime soon at least. Can you explain the six points we need to keep in mind while spell casting? Sure, let's do it one at a time. Mindset. Mindset. When you have a mind and you have determination that you are going to go through the entire process, that just means one simple thing. You've made up your mind, you're determined, you want to see it through. It's like having a medicine, it's like going for a walk, it's like deciding what you want to do, a particular task during the day. Till you don't make up your mind, you will not be able to see yourself through. What's the next one? Vibration frequency. A very, very important aspect of spell casting. Remember, I'm sure a lot of you have already gone through several videos. A vibrational frequency can be made uh, into a short form. A lot of you already know, and many of you have displayed it outside your houses. Good vibes only, right? So vibes, vibrational frequency, it's either high or low. There's nothing called medium vibration frequency. If it's a high vibe, You'll get anything you want. You'll attract all the good stuff. You have a low vibe. You're going to attract more reasons to feel resentful, to feel jealous, to feel envious, to feel upset, to feel depressed, so on and so forth. But if you want more reasons to be happy, you need to have a higher vibrational frequency. Next. Clarity of thought. If you are not clear, how are you going to bring your thought into reality? Remember, you become what you believe. There are many, many, many times, even during one day, even in, a, in a, a period of 24 hours, where you will have a lot of self-doubt, where you will want to question the process, where you will perhaps even uh, take a double take on whether your decision was correct or not. Before you get into that, or if you get into that, you need to tell yourself that, listen, I have gotten into this, this was an informed decision, this is a matter of my self-confidence and I'm clear enough. Once you do that, you are all ready to go in terms of spell casting. Next point. Intention. To have an intention, you must first understand what do you expect out of spell casting. Say you don't have a job or you want a better job. Uh, you want a better quality life, you want some more money in your bank, you want a better relationship, you want a better lifestyle, better health, better something. That's the whole reason of spell casting. Otherwise, if you're happy where you are, why will you spell cast? That's a no brainer, right? So when you speak about intention, we are talking about your ability, your intent to create a life of your own. That's why we say we are reality alterers. We are the creators of our destiny. And the only way that you can create your destiny is by applying intention and the correct kind of intention into it. Next point. 
focus focus uh, is very important uh, you can't be uh, scatterbrained if you are spell casting you need to be in the moment you have to have a certain amount of concentration you have to keep your eye on the ball like they say if you are on your mobile phone if you are going to check your reels your social media if there's somebody at the door what happens is the energy around the area where you're casting a spell will get affected and when the energy is exact the result will also be exact so if you want to be high no and the, the result has to be high your focus has to be high right so do what you need to do before or after but not during spell casting next point the sixth point is timing timing is i think one of the most important parts of spell casting because here we are talking about is this the right time you can't say that you want a job before you have even applied for it right or i want investors in my business what kind of business it will be in your mind have you registered your business that you are asking for investors because if you ask me these are very important parts you want to win a case have you registered it in court do you have the case number because even when we spell cast you will require these details remember timing is very important in spell casting for a very simple reason it makes the spell process that much more precise you said if a wish is to be manifested a spell has to be cast what if i want to manifest a wish without casting a spell is that possible absolutely uh, you can manifest a wish you don't have to cast a spell spell casting is a process there are many other ways that you can manifest a wish you can uh, you can do your dhyan you can do your meditation uh, you can come up with brand new ideas you can follow old instructions it's all available everywhere if you have a good teacher a reliable teacher somebody who has a lot of knowledge and not half baked then uh, you can ask them for methods so spell casting is not a bad thing spell casting is a process you can't snap your fingers and get the result it requires a lot of uh, energy out of you and a lot of other stuff that we've already discussed but remember when we talk about your wanting to manifest something please be sure that it is something that you need because something that you need may not always be something that you want and vice versa my last question is you said that it's important that you pick one clear path and stick to it from start to finish can i tweak or change my desire before the spell is complete well uh, if you have made up your mind and in between you say you know what i don't want x amount i want x plus 2 amount in my next job simple example um or this is what i want uh, in my future soulmate and then you say no i want these two things what you are essentially doing is you are disturbing the process think about cooking for those of you who uh, are fond of cooking or are uh, aware of how the process works there are some items that you can put in the beginning but the taste does differ if you put it in between by the time you reach the end it's kind of a mix of tastes right fusion is something that we believe is called eclectic right and that's only happening when we mix a couple of magics together that concoction is created in the beginning not during and definitely not in the end if you want to take the risk of making a change in the result then go ahead and uh, tweak the uh, because even when we put a request the request is put in the altar and it stays there through the entire process of the spell casting we can't add or subtract anything from it if there is such a requirement then the spell has to be cast again so these are your questions uh, if you my dear viewer have any questions don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below um, and uh, thank you for watching the video and see you at the final